Guten Tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Playing as black today. Okay, I don't know this opening super well, but I'm hoping he blocks with his knight. Okay, he didn't quite do that. Uh, kind of okay with this move. I'm really tempted to take the bishop here, but I feel like it's going to be a bad idea. So, hmm. I'm going to just move him back and play a bit defensively. If he would have taken with the, or if he would have blocked with the knight, I would have just left the bishop there. I could push d5. Seems kind of early though. Yeah, I kind of want to push d5. I believe I could win on d5. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that. Yeah, I think I should have just pushed that earlier. No, I'll bring the knight out and then just on d5. Hmm. A lethal beat, unfortunate. Hmm. Uh, let's think here. Need to take with the pawn, it's gonna stack. Rather just move my knight to something like b4 and then d5. I don't quite want to stack my pawns here on the c file. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I need to be careful though because he can push e4. And I believe I just lose there. Hmm. Maybe now is the time to uh, threaten his bishop here. Well, let's think about this. No, I think I'm going to lose a rook if I win this bishop. Because, let's see, a6, he takes, I take. He takes. No, so I'm going to lose a rook if I do this. Maybe I have to push up this way. Adds an extra defender to d5 as well. Eh, kind of a bummer. And then here... Um, let's see. I could go for the trade. I could go for the trade. I want to push the pawn up to d5 anyway. Okay. At some point, I need to start thinking about getting my light square bishop out. <laughs> Coffee break. Could go e4, try to attack his bishop, but I don't know. I don't want my bishop getting stuck here on the starting square. On the frickin' sant. I'm actually okay with that. I think. <laughs> it was fair trade, so... Um, yeah, you know... Go for it. <laughs> mm.
Okay, so I really want to take the bishop on c3, but I'd rather sort of eyeball his rook first. I also kind of don't want to lose a knight. Because then we're both going to have two rooks and a light square bishop. I'd rather try to have something that he doesn't have. It will make a messy pawn situation for him, though. You know, while the knight's defended, I'd rather... Ah, shoot, this loses a rook. Um, shoot, I think this is just... Oh, man. Oh, this is mate. Oh, this is so unfortunate, bro. Boom, mate. Yeah, this, this loses... Ah. This is a real bummer. This is why I really wish I would have just developed this bishop earlier. This is just mate. And there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I'm going to be forced. And I can't check him anyway. Yeah, when he goes d8, my king doesn't have a place to run. Such an unfortunate way to lose. Okay, well, uh, as far as I can tell, the only way to save this is to... And what do I do? I think I just have to lose a knight here. It's a bummer, but I think... I guess we could do that too, huh? There's just nothing, there's no other way I can defend. I suppose my other option is to make an escape square for the king, but either way I'm losing that rook. I could block him in with the bishop. Think about this. Mm -hmm. I know that might seem odd. How long did that move take? Two and a half minutes, not bad. Yeah, so if I get the C pawn out onto D5, I can always push up uh, since I'm protected here. And his bishop's going to be forced to run somewhere. I imagine he's going to try to do something like a5. Which I'll be able to kind of fend off with b6. Should have made this insurance earlier. I'd be really shocked if he doesn't take. This is another one of those games where... I'm sort of suffering the consequences of not developing earlier. Before launching attacks. Yeah. Now I do have two options here. I can either take with the C or the E pawn. I'm almost more tempted to take with the E pawn. Um, since it'll at least let the bishop breathe here. If he decides to push, I can always take with the bishop here. Next move, I probably just want to play 
bishop f5, unless he plays something like d3. Mm -hmm. Pawn is undefended. Could attack his rook. Maybe I just play it safe here. Stop his pawn from pushing. Add another, another defender to d5. I think I'll just do that. Really. He's going to be looking for some sneaky moves here. Hmm. Good push. Just pressure him some. C5 is loose, but it's not hanging. Hmm. He's planning something. I'm pretty sure his bishop here. I have two defenders. Two defenders on d4. Could try to continue pressuring his rook. I kind of like the idea of just getting the pawns up the board. I can always connect these pawns next here. Oh, and again, I can pressure his bishop. Maybe just connecting the pawns is a better idea here at this point. Not quite sure. I'm going to just connect these pawns to be safe. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily the best move. Hmm. I'll pressure. Yeah, good thing I didn't push the D pawn. He would have just done something like that. I could take, but he's just going to recapture with the rook here. It's kind of pointless. I'd rather go pressure his high value piece. Um, I need to be careful about this move though, because he can just push a pawn and then start doing things. But maybe it's okay. Okay. I believe that'll be en passant. I have to respect this pawn. Pretty 
pretty even so far. I could calculate if he pushes. Interesting. I suppose I could offer the trade on e6 here. Push up my rook. I mean, I can continue to pressure his rook, but then he can just move down. Yeah, maybe he blunders or something. Interesting. Maybe it's time to start pushing the pawns up or something. Maybe it's time to start stacking the rooks. I think he's going to look for some shenanigans on the G file here. Really wants the trade. Really don't want the trade. <laughs> kind of have to though here at this point. Mm -hmm. I have to really be careful. I have to be very careful. I could start pushing pawns up. Man, tough position. Uh, what do we do here? I guess we could threaten this pawn. If he takes, I just take his rook. I know it looks a little bit weird, but... I think if he pushes, I'm just going to pressure his bishop. That would actually be a really nice uh, sort of connected pawns here as well. Hmm. Where's he off to? Do I want to connect these pawns and then disconnect these? Or would I rather just pressure his bishop? Tough choice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. <laughs> uh, I can attack his rook. I mean, I can basically make a giga, giga connected on chain here. Not what I want though. Would I rather trade the rooks off? Hmm. 
I don't know. I just want to make a cool pawn chain. I just like the idea. <laughs> I want I want to cut his bishop off from the, this this side of the board. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I could go for the trade, huh? Take with the pawn. Take with the pawn. Or trade the rook off. I think I have to keep the rook because I'm down a piece. So I think this is just kind of forced. I see. Hmm. I do have check. But then what? I have check and then I can push up. But I do have check this way as well. And he can squeeze into here, which is a bit frustrating. I do have check. It kind of sends him off into the corner. I have to keep the pawn on e3 protected. I'm not sure what's valuable here. Pushing the pawn or just looking for the straight check. Yeah, I know checks, captures, and attacks, but what is this check really gaining? Also, maybe I just let him take this pawn. Maybe he just won't notice. But I don't want to give up this pawn. We go this way, though. I don't know. I'll just try it. I mean, this pawn is a big threat now. It sort of forces his knight into the, or uh, his rook into this position. Also, let me think about this. If I go put one rook on the f file, then I give him check. Can't really win that. Uh, I think that just loses a rook and a pawn. If I go f1, he takes, pawn takes, and then king takes. So that's a bit of a waste. I'm kind of tempted to just see if he'll take this pawn. Maybe just pressuring his rook. So we'll have to fall back to one, one of these three squares. Yep, figured that much. I can continue to push the pawns. Go for a rook trade. I could also just pressure his rook as well. This will basically put him on the G file here. He'll probably push up. I'm just going to go for it. I think he's going to look for the pawn trade. I think I have to get my king involved here. And that may have been a blunder. I don't know. Maybe it would have been better to, uh, oh, yeah, that is kind of bad, huh? Ah, that's a bad move. Well, he'll pressure my pawn. I'll pressure his bishop. I can't really salvage. Uh, if I do this, this is a, let me think here. Probably have to go protect this pawn at this point. If I pressure his bishop, he takes the pawn, delivers check, and then I'm going to be in a really bad spot. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea disconnecting these pawns. Maybe I have to let one of them go. Let me think. Mm. Oh, I can't even protect it. Uh, I'd have to protect it with this. I don't know if this is the move. My end game's kind of falling apart, and he still has 15 minutes, and I have one minute. <laughs> He's playing pretty fast.
You know, maybe I should have put a rook out onto d1 and just looked for the rook trade over here and just... Oh, no, I can't get the queen because his bishop is uh, protecting that square too. Yeah, so even if I w were to push up h4, he can still go f2 and then protect e1. Mm. Well, no, even if I went d1 and he traded with the rook, I could get out. I could get my pawn out on two d1 and then his bishop wouldn't be protecting that yeah maybe that's what i should have done i, I think that would have been a, a much better play hmm. yeah i probably lost a turn on that last one but maybe it's worth trying that i need to remember that a rook can't win against a rook and a pawn. Yeah. Oh, really unfortunate. Um. He wants the pawn. He's gonna. He wants to trade rooks off. Uh, I think this one move kind of cost me <laughs> promoting a queen. Hmm. Oh. oh, I can't even push that up. No. Um... I'll start looking for the checks, I guess. I think I have to start looking for the checks if he takes the pawns. I'm probably going to misplay this, but oh well. I tried me best. I guess he just... Uh, right, he's forced back. He is forced back, so maybe I can still do my D1 idea. I wonder, protect the pawn or go for D1? Honestly... I'm just going to do d1. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of expected that too. <laughs> uh, let's see, so boom, 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 boom. Not really doing a great job of protecting my most valuable asset here. I need to Kind of keep in mind that I need to play on the light squares too, since he has a dark square bishop. He does have a lot of time, so I hope this game doesn't drag on forever, but we'll see. Hmm. 
I need to go back and figure out which move cost me the game. It feels like so long ago, but I believe it was losing the knight. If I remember correctly. I think, let's see, maybe if I was him, I'd probably play like king h2 and just defend the bishop or something like that. I think if he were to play king h2, I'd probably go rook e3 so I can at least, no, nah, but that would lose me a pawn, this pass pawn. No frickin' way. Now we wait. <laughs> what a sad- oh, I knew he'd come back. <laughs> I, I knew he wasn't gonna give this up. You guys generally think it's a good idea to just get your rooks out onto the seventh rank anytime you can. All right, so either F rank. We have to play fast here. Um, son of a. Here's what I was expecting. The reason why my brain slowed down there. Here's what I was expecting. Boom. Boom. Okay, never mind. I was expecting boom, boom. I can't believe I waited so long. What a disappointment. Ugh. Yeah, he had the advantage there the whole second half of the game. Let me just try to play it out and sort of think about what I may have done. I saw this playing out two different ways. Um, I was really worried about going on the G file because I didn't want some... Uh, I was worried he'd be able to sort of win a rook, but I guess my rook was protecting. But let, me, let me just play this out both ways. So I was kind of expecting this. Okay, no, the queen just takes there. Okay, so if I went here, that was also bad. So this was just the best move, huh? You'd probably move back, right? Even that's a blunder. And bishop f2. I don't think, he seemed pretty intent on um, not moving his bishop. He probably would have played something like this at this point. Even that's a blunder. Bishop f2 was his best move, huh? So I'd like to play this out. What would he do here? Rook c2. Isn't that a blunder? Oh, no, it's not. Ah, uh, uh, and then I'm still in the same situation that I was in. Right. Okay, so let's play this out different way. Is there anything I could have done here? Okay, so get onto the seventh rank. Yeah. So this seemed like a slightly better idea. 
could at least attack this pawn, still protect this pawn, and then my E rook would have been able to go somewhere else. What would he have to do here next? Just push a pawn up. Okay. Rook d3. Could I would have attacked this way? So bishop f2. Sure. Ah, uh, and then we went upon this way. Okay. And then, then he delivers check. Kind of forced to run. C7 check. F6. Really? And what is this? Hmm. Take the pawn. Why do we want to do that? Rook takes on a7? Really? I don't know. Doesn't seem likely. Oh, and then bishop takes. I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, wouldn't I just have this idea at this point? But then he would what? Oh, just protect with the king. Yeah. Man, really tough. Just couldn't find a way to promote this pawn. Um, Looks like I had one blunder, so let's just see what that was. Yeah, this was a position that I, I kind of felt like I got myself into some hot water here. So throwing the knight out was a bad idea. Why? So, back to the analysis. What was the best move here? Oh. Attack the bishop this way. Okay, and castles. And takes on c3. Sure. Hmm, sneaky. We'd have to push up so we can protect here. Right. And then h4. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I think sort of the moral of this story... Let's look at the accuracies, by the way. I mean, 85 and 82. I can't be too upset about that. Um, he played really well. He didn't have make any mistakes, misses, or blunders. Uh, looks like I just kind of had one blunder that cost me the game, which was moving that rook out. Now, why was moving the rook? Yeah, so I think moving the rook out, let's figure that out really fast. Why that was so bad. Right, because of this pawn push. And the rooks weren't connected. If the rooks were connected, it would have been a different story. Hmm. Yeah, so this basically let him get a really big advantage. And this is when I lost my knight, right? And I was just down a piece after he pushed. So I was forced to make some hard choices here. I'm surprised that the engine liked h6. You created space for the king. Yeah, I was just... I, I was just looking at the potential for the back rank. Since I couldn't protect with the a rook here. And then taking this way with the e pawn was okay. Yeah, it was basically all over after that. A uh, bit of a bummer. It was fairly even here until this point. So I just failed to recognize sort of one, one move. Yeah, bummer. Well, it was a fun game either way. Uh, the op opponent played really well. And uh, yeah, so I can't really complain too much. Uh, he was finding a lot of great moves and... Uh, he didn't really make any egregious mistakes, so props to him. But yeah, GG. Reway 3Y from... I don't know how to pronounce this. And I'll see you guys in the next game.